Vidyarthi Commission, also known as the National Commission for Denotified Nomadic and Semi-Nomadic Tribes, was established in 2014 under the leadership of Bhikkhu Ramji Idate. Its primary objectives were to compile a comprehensive state-wise catalogue of these tribes, identify the denotified tribes not included in the scheduled caste scheduled tribes or other backward classes list, and recommend welfare measures for their well-being. What are the major recommendations of the Idate Commission? The Commission recommended assigning individuals not identified in the SCs, STs and OBCs list to the OBC category. This would provide them with access to specific benefits and affirmative action programs. To prevent atrocities and restore a sense of security among the denotified tribes members, the Commission proposed incorporating a third scheduled into the Scheduled Caste and Scheduled Tribes Prevention of Atrocities Act 1989. This enactment would strengthen legal and constitutional safeguards. The Idate Commission recommended the establishment of a permanent commission with legal standing specifically dedicated to addressing the concerns of denotified nomadic and semi-nomadic tribes. This commission would focus on their welfare and rights. Recognizing the significant populations of these communities in certain states, the commission proposed creating a distinct department within state administrations. This department would be responsible for formulating and implementing policies tailored to the unique needs of the denotified tribes, semi-nomadic tribes and nomadic tribes. Commission emphasized the importance of conducting a comprehensive survey of denotified tribe families to determine their estimated numbers and distribution. This data would inform targeted interventions and resource allocation. Who are denotified nomadic and semi-nomadic tribes? Denotified tribes. These communities were once labelled as born criminals during British rule under laws like the Criminal Tribes Act 1871. They were officially denotified by the Indian government in 1952. Many of these communities were also nomadic. Nomadic and semi nomadic tribes. These groups are defined by their movement from one place to another rather than residing permanently in one location. Historically, they lacked access to private land or home ownership. What are the challenges faced by the denotified tribes? Lack of central recognition as a separate group under the constitution, exclusion from most government welfare initiatives, low education levels and inadequate access to basic infrastructure like drinking water, shelter and healthcare. What are the welfare initiatives that focuses for denotified tribes? Development and Welfare Board for Denotified Tribes It was established in 2021. This board aims to address the specific needs of denotified tribes over a period of three years with the possibility of extension up to five years. Scheme for Economic Empowerment of DNTs SEED SEED focuses on educational empowerment, health insurance, livelihoods and housing for denotified communities. To summarize this, the Idate Commission's recommendations underscored the urgency of recognizing and supporting denotified nomadic and semi-nomadic tribes to ensure their well-being and inclusion in India's social fabric.